Siri. Siri, can you transform to a bigger screen? Siri. Bitch, are you in there? Fuck. First of all, thanks for watching. Sincere thoughts. As we all know, today was Apple's big conference to announce the new iPhone. Now, I worked during the day, so I wasn't able to see anything, and I tried my best to avoid any news throughout the day until I get home, because every year since the first gen, which I had, I like to come home and watch the whole conference from beginning to end. Um, it's just my thing. Um, and I get kind of excited when, I, when it's going to happen, I know something nice is going to come out. So, that's what I did. And I just got done watching. That's why my video here is so late. Uh, because I get home so late and I have to do the video late because I watch the, the conference late. So anyway, when it started, I felt something was already not right. It just didn't seem right. Maybe it was not having Steve Jobs. I don't know this new guy, Tim, Timothy, whatever his name is. He just seemed like he wasn't really into it. Um, he was looking down a lot. I'm not sure if it was a teleprompter on the floor maybe. But he seemed like he didn't know what he was doing. Maybe he was nervous possibly. That's a possibility, but he just seemed kind of half dead. And then the camera would take these shots out to the people who were clapping. And when the camera went out there, I noticed that the building was like, like smaller than normal. Uh, I'm not sure I can see the whole building, but for what I'm seeing, I usually see a bigger or wider building, more people. But this one seemed kind of small and, and a few people. And the people in there didn't look like normal people that I normally see there. Because I've been looking at this every year, and sometimes you kind of see some of the same people sometimes in there believe it or not but every time they go to that shot it reminds me of an old 80 episode of the price is right and i was just waiting for somebody to run down the aisle fucking screaming so anyway they get to talking and they start you know doing a little bragging thing about how many phones they sold um all the new stores they're building all these alice in wonderland's fucking spiral glass steps they're making in China and Zimbabwe, where the fuck they making these stories at, and bragging about all the graphs and percentage they doing, and they get to the iPhone for iPhone, and they say this is the new iPhone 4S. I'm like, hey, it's the same goddamn phone that I have now, which is just four. So I'm looking, I think maybe, maybe I'm being pumped. Maybe somebody gonna come out and say, ah, we just playing with you, dog. He go the real iPhone 5. But it never happened. They kept going on with this one, like, and then they threw in a few parts. You know, they throw in enough part just to keep you on the same level as other phones that's out now. Uh, and that's what they do. They keep it on the same level, right there on the edge of the water. You ain't gonna drown. You ain't gonna drown. You ain't gonna under. You ain't right there on the edge of the water, keep you competing just enough with the other phones. I'm like this can't be. This cannot be real. I'm like they're sitting there bragging. And about all the profit they make, and you can't give me one inch of a bigger screen, and that's for me. Now, you might think it's dumb, you might be okay with the specs and everything, but for me personally, I've always wanted a bigger screen, and I've been asked for, and I'm still not the only one who want a bigger screen on their phone, okay? I think the, um, the, the Pixie, one of the Palm Pre was a 3.7, this is a 3.5, I believe. I mean, really? So now I'm sitting there like disappointed, can't believe it. They got being pumped, um, and and then I'm gonna tell you what happened though. Why they why it has the same built? Uh, I don't know if you remember, but a month or so ago they were saying they were still seeing that the front screen or panel was still being kind of worked on, developed, and people wonder why they still developing this uh, so close to when the Apple conference was supposed to happen. I'm gonna tell you what happened. They were sitting around one day talking bragging for all the percentage they make in all the new stores all the glass spiral step cases and stuff like that and somebody said hey wait a minute i just thought of something are we supposed to come out with a new iphone this year somebody said oh shit you know what you're right i forgot about that shit so they started panicking and calling everybody up everybody get down to the apple company manufacturer place whatever we gotta do everybody meet up right now we got a job to do and so everybody shows up and apple said okay go in and back in the stores, grab some old iPhone 4 pieces and parts, bring them here, let's put together a phone just in time for October 12th to can to have a new phone. And that's why we got this shit again. That's why. And a bigger screen. And that's what happened. And then, um, and then on top of that, they get to like the very end 
and then he said, well, this is going to be one of the phone's um, fastest rollouts. I'm thinking, uh, well, yeah, duh, it should be your fastest rollout because it's the same goddamn parts you had for a whole year already. It should be nobody who can't get this phone for S. It should be no delays, no back order, because this is the same fucking parts you had in the storage a whole year ago. So I'm sure you had plenty of extra parts to make sure that everybody gets the new iPhone 4S. I'm like, man, did we just say that? So I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm still tripping. And even now, I'm still thinking, Steve Jobs is going to jump out and say, Hey, da-da, just kidding. He go to real iPhone 5. I'm looking for that now. But he ain't coming out nowhere. So I'm just disappointed. And nobody can say I hate I, Apple because I'm not. I've been with them first, the first, first gen. So I don't, I'm not an Apple, Apple hater. I like Apple. But I'm very disappointed in, in this. I was expecting a whole lot more different things. Uh, but the main thing for myself personally, again, was for the screen, a bigger screen, and it didn't happen. Um, and, and then by them bragging about all this money they're making and all this device that they're selling, how they're leading everybody, and not to be able to upgrade the screen at least one inch, I mean, something. And just to do that, just because of the fact that they are selling so many phones and they have so many law people, that just kind of just, just, just disappointed me. The only thing that really caught my eye, it had a few couple of apps, but the only app that really caught my eye was the card app to able to design your car, send it through you know, through Apple, and then get notification when the car is delivered. That that was cool. Now we got this shit Siri bitch in hand that we talking to every, every five minutes. We got to talk to this bitch now. That didn't impress me at all. So are you going to... You gonna upgrade your phone? You gonna stay with your phone you have now? You have a four, uh, 3GS. You gonna upgrade? I can see that. Yeah, okay, fine. But you have a four. Are you gonna get the 4S? I'm not getting the 4S. I'm not even sure I'm gonna stay with the iPhone. Are you gonna stay with the iPhone? Are you gonna move on to something different, different carrier, different phone, Samsung, Bionic, something like that maybe? What are you gonna do? Hit me up. Please leave a comment because I am curious to hear what you gotta say. And please subscribe to the channel, y'all. Uh, this is Sensei B. And thanks for watching. Since the thoughts, y'all, I'm out of here. Siri. Siri. Bitch, I know you hear me. Oh, this bitch ain't never mind when you need a fuck.